difficult. Extended yet once again, the repayment freeze on federal student loans will now continue through the end of August. 25 News reporter Nakia Simon is live at Baylor University tonight. Nakia, how is this going to impact students here at home? Well, Todd and Leah, student loan payments have been frozen for more than two years, with the U.S. Department of Education now saying they're planning on resetting more than 7 million borrowers who are in default. But students here are saying that is not enough. The song many college students hope to hear on their big day. Before Cheyenne Mock, she is left to worry how much it will cost. I'm here at Baylor financially supporting just by myself because my mom is a single mom and like I'm just here Bailey solely on scholarships and so I'm hoping that does change in August. Tuition for private universities has increased by 2% according to bestcolleges.com. Student Loan Hero says 68% of graduates from private colleges took out loans. So far I've only pulled out like two loans but like I know that like they're gonna add up soon and I really don't want to be that big in debt. The pause cost taxpayers roughly $4 billion a month, according to the Committee for a Responsible Federal Budget, while families continue to allocate their expenses elsewhere. It's available to the consumers who have the student loans to be able to spend on other things and help work through the difficulties that are people have had during the pandemic, coming out of the pandemic, getting back in the workforce, that sort of thing. So it really does bring an additional stimulus to the economy of almost $8 billion a month in round numbers in terms of overall economic output. When you factor that through the multiplier effects of the economy, you're looking at about a $20 billion a month economic benefit. As the Department of Education continue to prepare citizens for repayment. I keep thinking in my head like, you know what, I'm gonna pull out this loan, I'm gonna push through, and then I will just worry about debt collectors when I graduate and I'll have my degree. But at the same time, it's like, I'm gonna stress having a good job, but also paying off these student loans. Regardless of when rep repayments are set to begin, the Government Accountability Office is saying that over 42 million people are at high risk of delinquency. Reporting in Waco, Nikia Simon, 25 News. All right, thanks, Nikia. Look